The entire world loves mysterious tales of unknown monsters that roam our lands in the depths of the oceans, lakes, and amongst us on land. In today's story, we will cover one of the most famous mysterious creatures known worldwide as El Chupacabra, also known as the Goat Sucker. While the goat sucker hides from plain view and lives a mysterious life, it leaves researchers with very little evidence of his existence, including blurred images and construed reports from those who have come to witness the mysterious creature. Without doubt, this is the most mysterious creature that has challenged legends worldwide, that is, the chupacabra. All the way from the Caribbean islands up to Russia, people explain the tale of the chupacabra with a vampire-like lifestyle, drinking the blood from farm animals. Researchers from the Supernatural Committees of the United States explain the first eyewitness of the goat sucker was reported on the Caribbean island of Puerto Rico back in 1985. Eyewitness testimony explained the horrific creature is like none they have seen before, resembling some sort of extraterrestrial being that passed in front of a man's bedroom window one Sunday morning. Other local residents who claim to have witnessed the chupacabra explain it's a smaller creature, measuring between 3 to 4 feet tall, with large dark eyes with short spikes running down its back and large claws resembling those of a sloth. The elusive chupacabra was held responsible for dozens of dead livestock, including goats and large cows and horses, of which it would drain the animal's blood by perforating its neck with its large jaguar-like teeth. After multiple encounters around the island where farm animals would be found bloodless, the legend of the chupacabra begins to go viral with all the local news stations airing live witness testimonies of the mysterious vampire-like creature dubbed the Goat Sucker. After a few short weeks, encounters began to spring up all around Latin America making its way up to the southern region of the United States. Many farmers began explaining their encounters with the new, unknown creature responsible for the death of their livestock. Their encounters no longer described an alien-like creature, but rather a mid-sized animal with no hair or fur on its skin, walking on all four legs like a dog with mange. The new encounters didn't cause the tale to lose credibility as there were far too many eyewitness testimonies appearing all around farmlands in the United States along with mutilated farm animals with no explanation of its death. Researchers began taking DNA samples from the mutilated farm animals in hopes of identifying a new species of animal and proving if the creature was once and for all real or just a myth. The tale slowly began gaining interest as the DNA samples had come back to identify with that of a dog, coyotes, raccoons, and with some labs finding the DNA of fish as well. While many believed it was just a local animal with a skin disease known as mange, the mystery of the dead farm animals left skeptics wondering what it really was. Zoologists also researched dead farm animals in an attempt to link the bite marks to those of the blood-sucking bats in the area, but explained the bites were far different in shape and size, that it was 100% not bats draining the farm animals' blood. Many to this day still explain the encounters of the mysterious chupacabra while others have left the story behind, explaining it's most likely a coyote with mange, causing others to believe it's some sort of alien species amongst us. No guaranteed explanation has sealed the books of the tale of the chupacabra 
as nobody has been able to capture the being, but rather only eyewitness encounters continue to spook those across the internet. After all the analysis and investigations that claim the goat sucker is nothing more than a myth, the history of the goat sucker has all the elements to attract more and more believers every day.